and a professor in fisheries, wildlife, and conservation biology at the University of Minnesota. So we will remove at least half mm -hmm. and, uh, and then track the improvement in the water quality in this lake so we can learn what removing that number of carp does. Okay. And we will also put about half back uh, to get accurate population estimates so we can learn from this in the future. Removing carp alone will not solve the problem. We've got to stop the birth and birth of new ones and they're getting into these populations. Now what's going to happen with these carp that uh, you pull out today, the, the ones that you remove from the lake? Uh, the plan right now and it could change, will be that half will be given to the fishermen uh -huh. and, and counted, and the other half um, will be m measured, marked, and released over the next couple of days and put back into the lake and then recaptured in a year or so from now so okay. that we can learn something from the process. So he wins, he gets some fish, and we win so we can learn something about the lake and overall the lake residents come out ahead. Okay. The lake's better and science is better.